to keep me posted with Planet Aid. My name is Monica Johnson, and today we are with Planet Aid School and Community Programs Marketing Coordinator, Natalie Glennell. Natalie, how are you? I am so great and so appreciative to be here. Well, Natalie is here actually to talk about our national clothing drive that's getting ready to uh, take place. So Natalie, tell us a little bit about this clothing drive. The when, yeah. the where, the what, the how. <laughs> yeah, so starting uh, April 11th, we are launching a Earth Month initiative with all of our Planet Aid um, partnered schools. So all of the schools that have Planet Aid bins and a few others as well um, are all going to be participating in this initiative. It's going to be a month-long clothing drive contest for different prizes and everything. There will be, of course, $1,000 for the first place winner. And there will be a few other prizes as well um, for the amount of pounds that are collected and everything. But we're also doing, in addition, another category, which is called the bin beautification, which wow. is something that I find really exciting. Mm -hmm. And basically, it's to really enhance the surrounding area around your bin, whether that's planting trees or flowers, and it's just calling into action students and families to be outside in nature and enhance the community's awareness around what exactly this yellow bin is and how we can be part of the change. So this really is a teachable moment, this uh, clothing drive. Absolutely. Yeah, there's so many aspects to it, too. And so many times we not only don't really associate much story or much behind the yellow bin or after we're donating our clothes. And this is such a good um, initiative that is having us become more curious or having the students become more curious and um, an opportunity to educate them in what's really taking place. So I'm hoping that this is an opportunity to close that gap as to, you know, the students being able to take part in creating environmental change and, and seeing that one piece of clothing has an impact and it just creates this ripple effect. And it's also really exciting that we're joining in with all of the other schools and it's just creating such a bigger impact than than just doing it one-on-one -on -one and one-on-one. -on -one. So tell me a little bit about the school and community programs um, and, and some of the things that you're hoping to do with this because it is a new department at Planet Aid. So mm -hmm. tell me, and this is one of your first initiatives. Yeah, absolutely. So of course, it's not just about putting the clothing into the bin and donating more pounds or anything, but it's the educational piece um, that we're providing that we're really, really paying close attention to and putting a lot of work into creating different kinds of programs, educational programs for the students, for the teachers that are allowing students to become engaged with their impact in the environment and it starts from the clothes that they wear, you know, to walking outside and seeing trash or just all of these different things that we interact with on a daily basis, but bringing programs to them that kind of like, it, it just like awakens something in their mind and teaching them these different ways and how they can create habits and create change. Um, and become leaders for, uh, for whatever they really find calling to them, whether it's in the environment or they're a, a leader on their sports team, but just getting involved in this environmental um, leadership and how they can make an impact. Um, we're really, really um, putting a lot of work into creating programs that allow students to become aware, engaged, and educated in leadership and the environment. One of the things I like um, 
is just the theme of it being something that will stick with them for a lifetime. So sometimes when you learn something in school and it really sticks, I mean, it does stick for a lifetime. And I think about now, because just even with me, like with recycling, since working here, I've learned so much more about recycling. I wash out my plastics before I even, you know, put them in the, in the recycling bin. So I just think about it being a lifestyle and growing totally. into a lifestyle. Totally. And to start them young. And of course, we're, we're, we understand that this isn't going to necessarily spark every single student, but the the one the two the three the ten however many we can like that is making a difference and starting them again so young with this habit and awareness it is creating bigger change than just a habit about you you sent me some information the other day a great video um, of a school that actually did this they just finished up their clothing drive And they even did a video that kind of walked you through the experience and um, the pounds of that that they actually collected, which was about 1,600 pounds. So, you know, something like this is so attainable. If somebody wanted to get in contact with you, you know, to kind of find out how to do this, how would they do that? Yeah, I mean, they can email me directly or call me directly. We also have a team of three. It's Eric, Ashley, and myself, but they can reach out to me directly. My email and Eric and Ashley's, it's education at planetaid.org. And from there, we can schedule anything. And with this clothing drive, is it are the schools set or can people kind of get into it still now? Yeah, no, we have, um, the registration is still open up until the day of, so there's just a little mini form that really all you need to do is fill it out. It just kind of is your school name and the primary contact, and that kind of just enters you into the contest. Okay, and where can they look for this? Well, there's been a few emails that have gone out now with this information. So if you haven't already seen it in your inbox, um, it might be in there. But if not, please reach out to me at any time and we can get you set up. And again, it ends May 11th. Then what happens after that? Yeah. So at the end, we're going to be keeping up, keeping everyone updated every week with different tips and tricks that and educational things that you can send out to the students or the teachers or the families. It's really just providing you more support. And every week we'll be, of course, updating who's first, who's has the most pounds and, you know, creating this fun, um, friendly competition almost. And then after there's going to be a Zoom meeting, um, with all the participants and we're going to announce the winners and the prizes and there will be a few other um, opportunities as well that we're excited to share soon. Wow, this sounds actually pretty fun. So will you keep us updated on this? (laughs) Of course, of course. And any social media, I mean, it's so cool because this is an opportunity that allows students, even in the arts or in the digital world, and they want to create something from it. All of these things, just by having this initiative, it's allowing a lot of people to get involved in however, whatever way they they so choose. So if there are any pictures, or videos, please feel free to tag us as well. And I'm sure we'll have such a fun time repurposing them and sending them them out um, to the other schools as well. And we're excited. All right, thank you so much, Natalie. And we really appreciate you uh, letting us know about this clothing drive. And we are excited to see the winners and all the participants and the the kind of competition, like you said, that's gonna go along with it. Yeah, us too. We can't wait. And I didn't, uh, or maybe I did mention this, um, and the purpose of having this um, clothing drive contest this month was to really just 
piggyback and work with the Earth Month, Earth Day theme, um, because of course these, these initiatives go hand in hand with who we are as Planet Aid. And, and also there is this, um, this stream of, you know, funds that are, the schools are getting stipend for every the amount of pounds that they're collecting so you know everybody wins (laughs) yeah everybody wins no matter what all right well thanks again natalie and we look forward to hearing your updates coming up in may stay tuned thank you so much for having me monica